Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 15 of Scrap Timber 2022. And today's prompt is rainbows. See, y'all knew I had to go back to Vicki Booten's color study because what better collection to document with rainbows than color study? So I am working my way through getting this collection completely bashed and I still have a ton of scraps that I'm working on although after today a lot of that is gone not necessarily from this layout but some other ones I created so I'm thrilled to be close to being done um, and I've got a few more stickers on my project pad sticker sheet I have one single paper and a cut apart from the project pad and then I think I have six or seven six full and a mostly full that cut apart's got some missing um, left of the loose papers so really it's mostly scraps and like six sheets of paper right so I can do this guys I can use every bit of that stash so um, my goal is to use as much of this as I can in the next few layouts and document these two pictures of me and my daughter. So I also have some ephemera that I want to get used up. Um, some, just the top part of that is from this collection. So I've got my papers, my embellishments, my pictures, and let's see how this goes. So I decide since it's going to be rainbow, I didn't want to use that um, pie paper that's, you know, the circle with the different triangles of, um, um, you know, the pie. It's shaped like a pie and it's rainbow. I've used that before for a layout with my daughter and decided that I wanted to try something different. So I'm using this little triangular paper and, um, I'm going to use this title that says make your own happy because it's been a rough year. This is 2018. It was not an easy year for my family. Um, so make your own happy is absolutely fitting. And so I, um, am roughing up the edges, um, on this cut apart and I'm going to mat it on this purple. I'm going to cut a strip of this vellum paper <laughs> And I'm going to use this entire 6x8 um, because it's two-sided. I'm going to mat one picture on the hot pink and one picture on that lighter pink. And I'm just trying to find other things I can use to document. And I really just want to try and get as much on this layout as I can. Not just to use it up, but to get it on a layout. So... I'm going to trim my picture down just a smidge um, because the paper is six inches, so I need to have just a little space. But I don't want to cut anybody's face off, <laughs> so I can't cut the width very much. So I just cut it just a little hair, maybe an eighth of an inch off the sides and a quarter of an inch off the, the off of the top so um, that they'll fit on this pink. So I've decided to put the one that's in color on the light pink and the one that's black and white on the dark pink. And I love these pictures. I couldn't even tell you the full story about what's happening here. I just know that me and my daughter were goofing off in her room um, because that poster in the background that says something about God always loving you, um, we hung that above her bed just as a daily reminder. Um, and I just love the look she's giving me in this picture. I'm being such a big dope. I'm, we love to do these funny selfies where we are making goofy faces. And if I printed every one of those and scrapbooked them, I wouldn't have room in this house for the scrapbooks because we do it all the time. So I really want to use that vellum paper, but when you put that down on this really busy paper, it just kind of disappears. So I thought if I had this torn bit of yellowy green paper that it would work. But I really liked the blue and white stripe better because it's more visible through the back of this vellum. And I think it helps stand that um, gold 
grid that's in that vellum out a little bit more. And I am going to add some new Photolux adhesive to my vellum so it stays nice and um, attached to my papers because nobody wants their stuff to fall off later, right? So I am just tacking that down and I kind of rough up the edges of the vellum a little. I don't want to take my distress tool to it or anything because I feel like that's going to just destroy it. So I just kind of use my fingernails to, to mess it up a little bit and to kind of give it a bit of a um, ruffled edge. So once I get done with that, I'm going to put the pictures down. And originally I'm thinking I'm going to put them in the middle and kind of tuck them underneath the vellum. And I like that, except I, I really want to keep with my title that I've cut out. But I also love these little um, paint swatches. My daughter is super artistic. And um, so I kind of want them to kind of tuck in right here behind our picture. And it's kind of cool looking to me because it looks like, you know, that paint is coming out of the pictures. So we've squeezed the tube so tight of paint that it's come out of the black and white picture. And I just think it's neat looking. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? Um, maybe a little bit of everything. But I do love it. I pop up the title up on foam. Um, and this is Fun Foam from Walmart. Um, thank you, State Goddess, for telling me about it because I love it and it, it makes my life so much easier <laughs> um, because I love using this to pop things up. Um, I do have like um, uh, foam tape, but um, something this large would take a ton of foam tape <laughs> to get tacked down. So the foam strips or the big pieces that I get at Walmart um, are fantastic. So I get that down and hold it on there for just a smidge. And then I'm going to move on to using my sticker sheet. So I'm, my son is standing to the left and I said, what else do I need on here? And he said, nothing. It's beautiful enough. And I thought, well, thank you, but I want to use up these stickers. So I pulled that one off, and that's really all I can bring in. So I thought I'd bring um, something from my ephemera. And at some point, I'm going to pull the ephemera out of this box so that I can actually get a feel for what is left of this collection. Because there I am trying to use those hearts again. If y'all have watched any of my previous videos, I keep trying to put those on thing on these layouts. Sorry, my chair is making weird sounds. Um, it is 30 years old. Um, so I try and put them on there. It just never works. So I put this little butterfly moth up here. And it is also vellum. I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to put this paintbrush up here. Um, because I think that it's really neat. And it goes along with the paint and the make your own happy. Plus it's got rainbow on it. And we're all about the rainbows. And then the other thing I'm going to bring in is this little binder clip in the pink. It's going to finish off the sticker sheets that I have. Um, it's from the sticker book. I think it might be the last sticker I have left from the sticker book. And then I think I bring one more thing. Aha! I finished off this. Yep, see, I did a little happy shake. I finished off these little florals that I got at Joey and Fabrics. And I'm super excited. Um, so I think that I am mostly done. I can't remember if I do anything else. I think I'm going to tack down that butterfly slash moth. And because it's vellum, I didn't try and um, make it uh, dimensional. A lot of times I will bend up the the. I almost said feathers, the wings, but because of the vellum, I didn't do that. So here are the up close pictures and video. I love how this turned out. It's so colorful, so bright, and so fun. And I love these pictures of me and my girl. Um, and <laughs> the look on her face is hysterical to me. Um, and so I hope you all will go below and check out the playlist. 
of all the people who are participating this month. There's so much inspiration and amazingness going on and they can be as simple and as detailed and as crazy as could be and I just love it. So I hope you'll check it out. Hope you'll come back and see me again tomorrow and happy scrapping.